Scott Pandlebury. A little bit earlier than normal oh, with yes. us this morning. <laughs> Lovely. What a treat. Yeah. It's a great start to the morning. Um, yeah, sure is. Another win for the Pies. I know. It coincides, I think, every time I've come on the show, yes. yep. we win. So yeah. we're your I'm good luck charm. every Monday. <laughs> we are your good luck <laughs> charm. Yeah, yeah. Um, how's the run home look? Uh, we've got Melbourne. I actually went and looked about mm. who we played because last week I sounded... Pretty poor. I didn't really know who we played. Doesn't yeah. matter. But we go Melbourne, yeah. Sydney, Carlton. Three to go. So, Gee, that's yeah. three pretty big games too, yeah, it isn't is. it? Yeah. Um, but yeah, we've put ourselves in a really good spot now. We've qualified for finals, which was, yeah. um, we took a moment after the game to acknowledge and um, sort of we've ticked that box. and yeah, Away a, you go. Yeah, it's a good achievement for, for our group. And now we just want to come back to the process and get ready for, for Melbourne, which is going to be, yeah, you know, we haven't played a Friday night game for a long time. So looking forward to getting under the bright lights and, um, yeah, giving the Demons a crack who were really impressive over in Perth. I, mm. I feel like you'd rather have those three games than, say, North and, you know, a couple of the minnows. Yeah, you'd rather be more. barreling into the finals with a bit of tough footy. Yeah, well, I think for us, it's no matter who we play, it's always been sort of tough, close games. Yeah. I think our winning average winning, winning margin the last 10 weeks is six points. It's mm. crazy. So, uh, yeah, we've, we've certainly got, I feel like we've got more than enough experience in close games. So yeah. it'd, be, it'd be nice to win one by five or six goals and let the pulse lower a little bit late in games. Yeah. But mm. That's not our story. But yeah, looking forward to, to our run home. And as I said, Melbourne on Friday. It's a totally different vibe coming out of Collingwood, isn't it? A couple of key changes at the top of the chain there. And it seems like it's filtered down to the playing group. Yeah, I think we've got a great balance, you know, like Jack Ginevan, Nick mm. Dacos, Isaac Quaynor, John yeah. Noble, like sort of youth and experience. And we feed off each other and they provide a lot of the excitement. The senior guys try and provide the calm heads in tough situations, but mm. we bounce off each other. And yeah, we're playing a different brand of footy. We're enjoying it. We've got some confidence and belief in what we do. And that's a, that's always a big part of going into every season. If you can get confidence in what you do and belief, it can take you um, really far. And as I said, we're enjoying the season. We're not looking too far ahead and we've we've loved every week. And um, yeah, to be honest, it feels like the season's flown by and can't believe we're mm. at round, I know. Are we round 20 or yeah. 21 Three already. So it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's crazy how quick it goes. And um, yeah, we're just enjoying the ride. Yeah. Anyone announcing what they're doing next year? Has there been any of that talk behind behind closed doors at the club? Anyone? In terms of? Retiring? Uh, no. Nah. No, I feel like you're looking at me. I'm not retiring. No, I know. I've, <laughs> so I reckon well, I've said that I think you can you make it to 40. Um, no, nah, we've got obviously Jordan Roughhead um, had his shoulder injury. And um, yeah, so he's announced his retirement. But other than that, I think mm. we've got a pretty good group together that could um, yeah stick around for a few years and, and keep playing. Mm. Mm. As you said, Jack Inovan, one of those youngsters, his treatment on the weekend with the umpires was fascinating. And I'm sure you probably have an opinion on it, but... <laughs> What did you think? Did you, every tackle it felt like he almost deserved a free kick, and he didn't couldn't buy one by the end of the game. Yeah, it's a it's a really, oh, yeah, it's a bizarre situation playing because, um, yeah, as much as you don't want to bring it to light or shine a light on it, it, it does feel for some reason every time he gets the ball, it's a different yeah. set, set of rules, and it shouldn't feel like that. And mm. um, you know, I don't know if they're officiating the correct way for him, and then they're still sort of a little bit behind with other players because. Um, you know, I'll give you the hot tip. He's certainly not the only guy in the AFL that knows how to shrug a tackle. No. <laughs> or the only guy on the weekend in our game that knows how to shrug a tackle and draw, draw a high free kick. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, but, but I think because he's been made the example of, um, yeah. everyone's hot on him and not so hot on other players. But yeah, it's, it's almost, you, you get to the point where you're sort of like, oh, that's a free kick and you stop playing, you turn around and you'll have a shot at goalie and it's, you know, ball up or holding the man, I mean, holding the ball and you're like, oh. Anyway, it's so quick, you just got to move on. But yeah, it's... um. Yeah, I think he, he spoke post game that you know it's taken a toll on him. And, yeah, mm. but I thought in in light of that he played a fantastic game. He did. Kicked three great he's goals. He's having a phenomenal year. year. Yeah, he's kicked thirty three goals as a nineteen year old rookie listed player. He's Take a his great little year. GoPro wobble out of it at the start <laughs> yeah. of the year, and he's had a ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. wobble. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, All right, yeah. we'll come back. We'll keep talking footy. A couple of tight games uh, over the weekend: Gold mm. Coast and uh, West Coast, Richmond, Brisbane. Um, North had a little bit of a blowout, yours. Um, but we look forward to next round. You've got Melbourne Friday night. That'll be fun to run out under lights at the G. Yeah, I don't think we've played a Friday night for a long time. So, mm. um, yeah, looking forward to it and um, both sides in, in decent form too. So, yeah, they, they played really well Like watching their game. They look like they got a bit of their, their mm. edge back around the football with their pressure and stuff. So it's going to be a great challenge for us. But, yeah, it's always... I don't know. It's always the last four or five rounds. Everyone starts almost playing their own ladder predictor. 
Yeah. Don't they? And they're like, oh, this is a big game. And if this side wins, it, it's just so fascinating the last three or four rounds. And there's always, it always seems to, there's always a game where a lot rides on it. Yeah. Mm. And it's like, oh, geez, the side dropped one on the weekend that you didn't think would drop. That hurts this. And from a fan's point of view, it'd be amazing the, the last sort of three, game, three rounds of, of how it all can play out. It's yeah. a long day that Friday, I'd imagine. From the time you get up, I know you've got to go to Bunnings, do all that stuff <laughs> yeah. that you love to do, have a nap. But still, what time's kickoff on Friday night? 7.50. 7.50. Yeah, Jesus, so I'd be I'll, in bed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm not usually I too far away from I will be in bed, 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 bed at 7.50 on Friday well, night. Hopefully watching the game in bed. But Absolutely yeah. watching the <laughs> not game Not so fun fact, your last Friday night was your last loss against the Bulldogs. Oh, oh, I just, 11 yeah. weeks ago. I didn't play, so it wasn't my last oh, there yeah. you go. <laughs> Beautiful day. Beautiful I do day. remember watching that, but... Yeah, the, the best time slot's the one forty five sad day. Yeah, yeah. It almost feels like you're back in country footy where you yeah. wake up, breakfast, Just get up and go, go and play footy. Yeah. yeah. But 10 to 8, God, yeah, there's, there's a lot, lot of farting around going on in that in. day. It's good during this early in the year because you could just sit back and watch NBA all day. Yeah, right. <laughs> there's not much on at the moment, is no, there, during the day? No, you're not a baseball guy? <laughs> no. no. Jeez, that, go, that game goes forever, doesn't it? It can be real slow, baseball. Yeah, yeah. Um, it can be real slow. Who else? What, who were we talking about pre-show, their run home, Brisbane's run home? It yeah. wasn't too bad, was it? It's Well, it's similar to Collingwood and Sydney. It's just your, your destiny's in your own hands. If you win all three, you're in the top four. So yeah. there's a guarantee for both clubs. But because you play Sydney, it means the loser of that is suddenly a bit vulnerable. Yeah, see, I love all this stuff, how you know yeah. all this information. <laughs> That's that what, I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't know it either. I yeah. just I look so at Will like, and yeah, he if you knows lose it. Next week, then you can go to here. But if you win, you do move up to there. But then yeah. it all comes back to if you just win your games, you're, you're fine. Yeah. yeah. If you lose your games, you don't control your own destiny. <laughs> Absolutely. So Port Richmond will be a good game too. Bulldogs free. I'll be a good game. It's a good game. Yeah, next there's good weekend. games everywhere. Brisbane, everywhere. Carlton, Bulldogs free. Geelong, um, St Kilda. Yeah, I think it's always exciting this time of year when the top eight sides play each other, and you know that's. Yeah. I think we were saying just before it's it's great in the run home to get some. Finals like games under your belt, big intensity, big stage. Mm. It's almost like a little dress rehearsal before the real stuff starts. Yeah, for so, the finals. Yeah, you got to a two thousand dollars sanction on the weekend. Is that your first fine in a while? It's my first fine ever. Ever? Is it? Oh ever? wow! I didn't realize. Yeah. And it was a bit of a melee fine. No, nah, it was a. It was a. I thought, what was it? Sam Pal Pepper. Yeah. The rough conduct. Rough conduct. Here. So. What did you do? Just I was sling just, him? It was just rough conduct. Yeah. Rough. <laughs> it's just I don't rough. even know what that means, but. Um, yeah, Who pays so, that? Uh, I do. Do they so take it puff. out of your pay or do you yeah, turn up with no, 2000 in no, cash? No, <laughs> cash is almost gone these days, isn't it? Yeah. I'll pay them in Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so hopefully that just keeps dropping. But um, <laughs> yeah, so I'll pass the hat around when I get into training today and see if yeah. boys can chip in. But yeah, it's my first ever. That's amazing. I think it's my first ever reportable offence. Ever? Ever. Were you, were you reported on game day? No, nah, not on game day. Uh, um yeah, after the fact, but yeah. So, first so you've never fine. been suspended? Wow. You've never, never missed never any been, footy? No, nah, never been suspended. That's phenomenal. Mm. Uh, that is outstanding. <laughs> yeah, I've ruined that clean reputation. Oh, so. no. So close. But was oh. it a suspended fine or was it a nah, fine? Yeah, it was three grand down to two. So. Three yeah, to two. Yeah, the first but I'll tell the boys it's three. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. hopefully Chip <laughs> in feels sorry for me. Yeah, yeah. well <laughs> done. That was the two. Mate, yeah. have a fantastic week. Good luck Friday night. Thanks, guys. We'll chat to you next week. 7.29. This is the Marty Sheargold Show.